Hi there, Shonalyn Simon here of SLS Academy, home stager training redesigned for tomorrow's home stagers. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about how my business almost failed, how I almost didn't become a home stager. You know, it's really easy to look at someone who's successful in their career and think that it's always been that way and not really anticipate that perhaps they hit some challenges and some bumps along the road as well. So if you're struggling in your business right now, I'm here to encourage you and let you know that it does get better and it does get easier and things can happen for you. But you do also have to be open to learning more and open to understanding what it is that's not working right now in your business. So you've probably heard the staggering statistic that approximately half of businesses, I believe it is, fail within the first five years. And of those that survive, several more fail over the next few years. And I want to ensure that you are not one of those businesses. Uh, it is definitely not an easy journey to become an entrepreneur and to become a small business owner, but it is certainly a very rewarding one. So in terms of my story, I don't, I don't want to bore you with all the details, but essentially I was laid off from my job and um, was looking for a new change and I decided that home staging was the direction that I wanted to go in. And I, I honestly thought that, you know, I'm going, to, I'm going to get this training, I'm going to launch my business and I'm going to open the uh, doors to the business and essentially business will just start flowing in. And, uh, you know, of course it didn't really happen that way. About two years into my business, my, my father got very sick and uh, was hospitalized. And uh, he lives about three hours away from where I live. So I essentially dropped everything and went to be with him. Um, essentially, sort of shut down the business for approximately a month. Well, one day I'm sitting with my dad and he says to me, you know what, honey, you gave it a really good shot. And I remember thinking to myself, you know, my dad's always been my biggest fan. Why is he telling me to basically throw in the towel on this business that I love so much and that I put my, my blood, sweat, and tears into? Why is he telling me to give it up? And I had to do a little bit of reflecting on that, you know, because the truth of the matter was I wasn't as successful as I thought I would be two years into the business. And I, sure, I was working hard, but I wasn't really generating the business and the sales that I thought that I should be. So... The first thing that I did was reflect on whether or not that was a career path that I should continue on. And the more that I looked at home staging and being a home stager and everything that I was doing for my community and for my local homeowners, the thought of not being able to do that just didn't sit well with me. I knew that I was in the career that I wanted to be and I knew how much I loved every single time I went out on a consultation. I knew that this was where I was meant to be. So the fact of the matter was I just needed to make sure it, it, it happened. But I couldn't understand where it was that I was missing out. So when I launched my business, I created a business plan. Uh, and I can't stress this enough. If you have not created a business plan for your business, and especially if you are finding that things are not working well for you, you want to make sure that you take this critical step. It does not matter how far into your business you are. You need a business plan. A business plan is essentially a roadmap for your business that helps you to stay on track and help you to recognize and outline your goals and your mission and your marketing message, where you want to be, your services, your policies, procedures, pricing, everything is outlined in this business plan. So now don't be afraid though to change your business plan as your business continues to evolve and it's something that should be revisited fairly frequently. So two years into my business, I review my business plan and one of the things that I noticed was when identifying who my clients were, I said they were homeowners and real estate agents. And that's not untrue, that is very true of course. Uh, but that was as far as I went with it. And one thing that I realized being a couple years into the business was that maybe I don't want to market to the masses. Maybe I don't want everyone to be my client necessarily. I don't need every homeowner. I don't need every real estate agent. And I started thinking about who I'd worked with over the years and who I really wanted to continue to work with. Um, you know, especially in real estate agents. Do you want to work with the large real estate agents that do a ton of volume? Or would you rather work with the smaller agents that really concentrate on the, the quality of the service that they provide to their clients? Not saying the larger agents don't provide quality service as well. But the point of the matter is, figure out what's your ideal client. Who do you want to be working with? And there might be a couple of them in there that really resonate well with you. And that's who your client is. That's who your ideal client is. And the same thing when it comes to homeowners. Which homeowners have you enjoyed working with the most? Maybe it's in a certain level of price point. Maybe it's a certain type of 
um, career that they have. Maybe it's a type of family that they have or dynamics that they have. You know, do you work better with couples or do you work better with families? Um, you know, whatever the situation is, be sure to outline that in your business plan. And this will help you to create a clear direction for your marketing plan and how you're going to actually reach these people. Because the next thing that you need to do is then figure out where those people are hanging out and how can you reach them. And it's not as easy as just having a social media presence and a website. You got to get out there into the community and really make sure that you are connecting with them. So what did I do? Well, essentially, when I was gone for a month with my dad, uh, taking care of my dad, you know, I, I basically shut down the business and sadly, no one really noticed that I was gone. And that was a real wake up call for me. So I decided to shut down the business officially for a couple of months. And it didn't mean that I wouldn't take, take any clients or anything. I didn't take down my website, but I did absolutely zero marketing in that time. I was doing zero promotion and I focused instead on rebranding my company. I created a new logo. I created a new image and look, and I ensured that everything that I was doing in my marketing was hitting my ideal clients. And I made sure that I was focusing on where it was that I was targeting them. Well, wouldn't you know, I relaunched that fall and business just took off. I had a very clear understanding of who I was, who my business was and what we represented and the culture that we provided and our entire brand image was completely refreshed and people took notice. So the phone started ringing and the next thing that I knew, business was rolling in. Well, my goal when I rebranded and relaunched my business was to double the previous year's sales. Well, I didn't double them. I didn't triple them. I didn't quadruple them. I did five times the amount of sales that I had done in that previous year. It's amazing what it takes when you're laser focused. It's amazing what you can do. So I really recommend that if you're finding that your business is not where you want it to be, take a moment to reflect on it. Create that business plan. If you would like some help creating that business plan and creating your whole marketing message, your brand image, and everything else that goes along with that, be sure to check out our Business of Staging course. You can go to courses.styledlistedsold.com to get all the details on this course and what it offers. And this will really help to get you on the right path. It's essentially a step-by-step -step guide to preparing your business plan and outlining exactly who your company is what you stand for and what you're going to do. It sets a clear path and goals for you with an action plan behind it as well. I hope that this has been inspirational for you. So if you're finding that you're stuck in a little bit of a rut, don't get frustrated, keep moving forward. It's one foot in front of the other, one day at a time, and you will get to the end. Your passion, your drive, and your determination will help you to get there. Just remember that everyone starts somewhere. Everyone has had their fair share of setbacks. Everyone makes mistakes and keep moving forward. In the meantime, happy staging. This has been Shauna Lynn Simon of SLS Academy, home stager training redesigned for tomorrow's home stagers. And we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.